All right, hostess, you've met your match. I'm going to eat each and every one of you. Whoa, hey, uh, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles. And uh, today we're going to be unboxing the Ouya. God, I really want a Twinkie right now. So guys, as you can see, I finally got my Ouya. Came in the mail today, came home from work, wasn't even expecting it. To be honest with you, I forgot I even bought one. I pre-ordered it, I think, like a year ago. And uh, I figured that they probably just took my money and ran off with it. But lo and behold, I find a box on my porch and this little morsel was in it. As you can see, it's actually a really nice box. I kind of figured this starting off as a Kickstarter project and everything, it was going to arrive in like a paper bag with some duct tape wrapped around it. But uh, it actually looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open and see what's inside. Got my trusty knife. Whoop. All right, just slides out like a drawer. And so begins the revolution. That's kind of cool. I've never seen packaging like that. That's uh, kind of sweet. I'm gonna hang that up in the man cave because the revolution begins here. Hey guys, I got a solution for you right here. You don't need an Xbox uh, One or a PS4. Ooh yeah. Okay, so there's our console. That is one tiny son of a bitch right there. Oh my gosh. Uh, get some close-ups of that thing. But uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty damn tiny. <laughs> and uh, a lot smaller than I was expecting. Looks like it's got rubber grommets on the bottom to just sit here. And you've got a controller. The controller actually feels like it's got metal metal on I can't tell it's I mean it's really cold compared to the plastic in the center um, it's got a pretty good feel to it take a little getting used to it doesn't feel exactly like an Xbox 360 controller definitely unique um, sticks feel a little bit cheaper than uh, than the Xbox controller but uh, we'll have to fart around with it later and find out they got cool little plastic all over all this little piano black finish. The whole thing's covered and well protected. Okay, well hopefully there's some other shit in here. Okay, so there the bottom popped out. Looks like we have two AA batteries. I'm guessing that's for the controller. Um, we have a power adapter here. And the power adapter is rated at 12 volts at 1.5 amps. So this thing's not a power sucker. And it looks like it came with an HDMI cable. And we have the manual. And the manual says, connect your OUYA to a TV, or OUYA to a TV with the HDMI cable uh, included, power it up, and pair your controller using the U button on the unit. So is that all we have to do? And then you gotta configure your network. Now the interesting thing is, it's got a network jack on it, but they didn't include a network cable. So I'm guessing it also has wireless capabilities. Um, I'll probably hook it up to Ethernet though. Well, let's go ahead and hook it up. Oh my god, why is this box still on my desk? Okay guys, I found this a little bit comical. I couldn't figure out how to put the batteries into this thing. <laughs> I was looking at it and I was like, there's no notches, no things that you slide to get to the batteries. I was like, how do you put the batteries in it? And then you look at the manual here and it just says, oh, power on the, uh, sync up your controller, you'll be good to go. Um, no. So, if you're wondering, you have to grab the edge and just grab on and kind of hook it and pull the panels off of both sides. And that's how you get the batteries into the thing. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Looks like this one goes in this way. Now, in the good news, the battery pull straps are actually made out of real cloth. They're not, they're not, uh, crap like they usually do, like a Tyvek strip. I just thought that was funny. I was like, wow, there's no instructions to put in the battery, and this thing obviously wasn't designed to be intuitive. But it took me a little while to figure that out, so I figured I'd share that with you guys so you don't pull your hair out when you get yours. And then these just snap back onto place, and they're just pressure fit. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay, just turned on my controller. Controller paired. Press O to continue. All right, choose a network. And there's my network, the man cave. And now I've got to enter the password. Got to keep this ultra secret. 
All right, looks like it connected to my wireless network. Now it's downloading system update. This is something that I would expect, you know, because I just received it, and uh, who knows how many updates they've done to this thing. Being Android-based, I'm guessing this thing's going to have updates more frequently than Xbox 360. Looks like it's going to be a pretty big update, too. That progress bar isn't moving very fast, and right now I have roughly 50 megabit of bandwidth to my house. Granted, it's between three different internet connections, but still a lot. So, so far what I like about it is the console's literally smaller than the controller is. Um, the power brick is just a common DC adapter. I mean, nothing special about it, and it's not even high amperage, so it's not, you know, nothing in this thing's expensive. The controller has double bumpers on both sides, and they feel like they're pressure sensitive. Um, four common buttons here, a sync button in the middle, a D-pad, and two thumbsticks. It's very streamlined. It feels comfortable, but to be honest, it... I mean, my hands feel big for it. Like when I hold the Xbox controller, the way that my fingers go down and around it, uh, it's very, very ergonomic. I feel like it, it, it just, it feels like my hand forms to it. This is a lot boxier and uh, just too many flat angles. And I still think it'll be fine for playing. I mean, my fingers reach where they're supposed to, but these awkward, sharp angles at the top and everything just feel weird. So it'll definitely take some getting used to, but... Um, oh yeah, at least made a unique controller. I mean, they, they do share similarities as far as the way they look in their general size and button placement. But if you held them, they do feel very, very different. Pokemon, Pokemon, gotta catch them all! Pokemon, Pokemon, gotta catch them all! You talking to me? I said, are you talking to me? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Well, shit, since we gotta wait a while, we might as well read the box. Alright, I have the sexy box here yet again. And uh, it says the little box inside this box has big dreams. It says every game is free to try. That's pretty cool. Yes. Free. We don't think you should buy games or in-game items unless you absolutely love them. All your favorite genres from shooters to action adventures to RPGs to platformers. Featuring both award-winning developers and up-and-comers. You'll always be on the cutting edge of game releases. Now I'm actually looking forward to doing some development for this system because I do like doing mobile game development. If you have a Windows phone, go in the marketplace and look up a game called Angry Sharks. I wrote that. Uh, well, with help from some other developers also. Um, but, you know, I'd like to actually, like, who knows, maybe I'll even port Angry Sharks to this. That'd be kind of fun. So, it says on here, Oya downloads all its games directly, which means no discs cluttering your coffee table. And that's good, because it's hard to put a CD-ROM in this little thing. Holy shit, that thing gets hot. Woo! That's actually, it gets a lot hotter than I thought it would. All right, so it's what's inside that matters. It says we're implementing two or sorry, we're impatient too, which is why Oya powers on quickly. No more waiting forever for your console to boot up. Huh? <laughs> uh, now granted, this is an edge case, but I've been waiting for my console to boot up for about eh, 10, 15 minutes now. And we're not even at 50%. All right, so, so our controller enhances every game thanks to its precise responsive feedback. A touchpad for new dimensions of gameplay. Oh, whoa, okay. So apparently this is, oh shit. I guess it does pay to read the box. Man, what else have I been missing out on? Look at that. It's a touchpad. Okay, never mind. Fuck you, Xbox controller. What? What? Touchpad? No. Touchpad? Yeah. See that mouse cursor? Uh, 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 uh. No, that's badass. Now, I know all you guys out there are going to be like, Oh, PS4 is going to have that too. Well, I know, but PS4 costs more than $99. Um... No, I, honestly, I wasn't expecting that, guys. That's pretty badass. All right, well, let's keep reading and see what other shit I missed. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where was I? Okay, responsive feedback, touchpad for new dimension of gameplay, and 15 buttons to mash as you please. Fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. They literally count every button. They count the sync pad, every direction of the D-pad, and clicking down the thumbsticks. Okay, well, I guess if you gotta. It says, uh, Ouya outputs in stunning HD up to 1080p. 
Now, I think I might have to configure it for 1080p because if it was outputting 1080p, my Aver Media card would be picking it up right now, and it's not. So we'll have to figure that one out. All right, much more than gaming. It says, ever want to make a game? Go ahead. Ouya comes with what you need to get coding and get famous. Woohoo, fame! And then it says, stream your favorite videos and music too. Enjoy your favorite apps in HD glory. One more thing. While every game on Ouya is free to try, you will need a valid credit, debit, or redeemable code to download games. You'll never be charged unless you choose to make a purchase. All right, well, fair enough. And uh, that's pretty much what the box says on the back. Let's see, on the side here, we have some specs. It says, the Ouya console... It's a sandblasted aluminum and plastic. That's the case. The CPU is an NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad core, which is actually a decent CPU. It's got one gigabyte of RAM, and it's got eight gigabytes of internal flash storage, but it says it's expandable via the USB port, so I'm guessing you can hook a USB hard drive to it. It's uh, got 802.11 BG and N, an Ethernet port, and Bluetooth connectivity. It has one USB 2.0 port on it, uh, one micro USB port, and it outputs HDMI up to 1080p. And uh, let's see, two batteries, HDMI cable, power adapter. Already, we already been through that. So that's that's all it says on the box. But uh, it did tell us it has a touchpad, and that's pretty damn badass. So I'm glad I read the box. In a way, I'm sort of sad that Hostess is bringing Twinkies back because this box was actually one of the last boxes you could get. It was like 50 bucks on eBay. And a friend of mine gave it to me after he had bought it when he heard Hostess was coming back. So, But I'm going to enjoy eating these because these are the last of the Hostess Twinkies that were created under the old guard. Not under the new guy who's more efficient and does business properly, but under the old guy that ran it into the ground and screwed a bunch of people out of their jobs. This is the last remaining Twinkies made by those hands. Alright guys, well the Aver Media capture card that I have is not capturing the video from the Ouya. Uh, I even switched my HDMI switch back over to the computer, it displays the computer, it displays the Xbox, but it just shows a black screen when I try to record from the Ouya. So, I don't know if there's some kind of HDCP going on there, or if it's just the resolution or refresh rate's weird, but uh, it can't pick it up. So, let me know if you guys experienced that problem, I'm going to see if I can go into settings and fix it somehow. So this is what you get after doing all those updates. Now we're sitting in there ready to create an account. So let's go create a new account. So I've never done this before. So now I gotta pick my username. That's an easy one. Let's come down here. Okay, that was an easy one. Barnacles. Okay, done. Now wants my email address. Well, I've decided I hate typing stuff in with the controller. So let's go ahead and hook up the new DAS keyboard. To the back of the the Ouya, plug it in. Let's see if it works. Hey, look at that! Plug and play. So now I got to put in my email. All right, there we go. Barnaclesmancave at gmail.com. And now for my password. All right, so now making in-game purchases requires a credit card or redeeming a code. So you have to do one or the other. So it looks like we need to enter a credit or a debit card. That's a little weird. It's weird it doesn't give you an option to skip it. You have to do a credit card or redeem a code. You'd think you'd be able to just say, ah, oh, I don't care. All right, guys, you don't get to see this part. All right, the credit card number has been entered. So nice job. You're on your way. So finish account setup. Let's do that. All right, looks like we're at the menu. I'm still just using the keyboard. So play, discover, make, or manage. I want to play. Actually, is there a way to do settings? Like manage, maybe? Now, enter and spacebar don't, don't seem to work everywhere. So I'm going to use the controller. Okay, I'm gonna go down to system, advanced. All right, so the, oh, this looks like an Android menu right here. All right, so HDMI. So turn off the device screen. The external display will keep working. 
Um, well, this doesn't have a device screen, so I don't know why that's not checked to begin with. That's a little weird. All right, overscan compensation. Off. I notice every once in a while there's a little twitch. Also, almost like the HDMI output just isn't quite right. Something tells me this is still under development. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's stop screwing around with that. Let's actually try to use this thing. All right, guys. Well, let's try playing something. It's roomy in here, right? That's because you haven't picked the game yet. Find them over and discover, then come back here. Okay. So featured. Here's some games. Dub Wars. Other oh, menu system's kind of cool. Tower Fall, Ice Rage, No Breaks, Bash Bros, Gun Slugs. I mean, definitely a lot of indie games I've never heard of. Let's try Dub Wars. Alright, so I just told it to download Dub Wars. It says it's downloading it. Looks like you can look at some screenshots. That seems pretty typical. It shows you a little progress bar that your download's going okay. So, looks like they got this MU ya. It's an NES emulator. Okay, well, that's badass. We definitely want to download that. So, well, I'm hoping these are free. I don't see any monetary value being placed on them, and it's letting me download them, so hopefully it's not racking up my credit card here. Um, let's see, what's Universe Alpha? Take your spaceship and enter a core universe. You'll be the first to return, earning fame and fortune. All right, let's download that one. I'm just queuing up a bunch of games here. Criminal Mission SWAT? The first true cross-platform 3D first-person shooter. All right, well, we got to get that. It's in the queue. All right, well, so far the menu seems like it's pretty friendly and easy to use. Kind of no frills. Really, really intuitive. Kill screens playlist. Let's see, what is this? Vector. No brakes. I mean, it doesn't look like there's a huge number of games, you know, released yet. I kind of figured that their marketplace would be a lot bigger than this by now. Maybe I'm just not searching everything. What's it, Guns and Glory? Ha, ah, that looks interesting. Command Crisis call sign? top-down shooter definitely a lot of diversity in graphics and types of games I mean we've seen 3d games overhead scrolling games um, what the hell's this <laughs> riding a rotary adventure through this exciting platformer rotary on it okay now let's see uh, power up tanks all right so there's a lot more games under this section they don't look as good though all right, well, let's let those downloads complete. Um, I'd like to see how my downloads are going. All right, looks like we got Dub Wars. I didn't see any place I could clearly go to to see how my download progress was doing. But uh, let's try out Dub Wars here. Weapons auto fire to the music. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> you 
you have to time your shots to the music. <laughs> well, you definitely got to give them credit for a unique game. Whoa. <laughs> this is actually really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely unique, guys. You move one stick around to aim, and you move the other stick to maneuver your guy. And the guns automatically fire to the music, and the bass drop is like a huge weapon. The notes are all different weapons. So you really have to like strategize to the music and figure out you know when the big bass drops are going to occur so that you know when to line everybody up and shoot them. Uh oh. There we go. Got to pick up these coins. And then there's these spots where there's no music, so you don't get any shots. Okay, it's gonna be a big bass drop. Here we go. Boom! Uh -oh. Come on, big one. Well, it's getting busy. So far the frame rate seems pretty smooth. It is slowing down a little bit though. During those big graphical scenes, it's chugging. You can definitely tell that Ouya wasn't designed to be a powerful system. I mean it's not a it's not a competitor to a true like gaming console. I think this will be more just for, you know, I don't know, almost like party games or just kicking back and playing some NES or doing retro stuff. I don't see this being a big replacement for like Xbox and PlayStation 4. Not that I thought it would be in a hundred bucks. I mean, come on. Oh man, I am getting my ass handed to me now. Come on, guys. survived. Whee! Whee! Okay, what's next? Oh, here we go. New level. Alright, well we saw that game. Now the question is how do you get out? Okay, so I pushed Y. A to quit. You know, I'd assume that the sync button would take you back to the main menu, but it doesn't. So how do you just get out of here? Okay, so if you hold the sync button down for several seconds, it takes you back to the menu. Well, so far only one game has finished downloading for me, guys. I started a whole bunch to download. Let's try manage here. Let's see, account, controllers, payments, parental controls, no. Controllers, I just got one. Looks like you can have up to four. 
My network's connected. Notifications. I have no notifications, apparently. It says I have one notification, but uh, a horizontal bar is not a notification. Well, I told it to download like four or five games and only one is downloaded so far and I don't see any status or anything telling me what else is downloading. What's make? This area is for brave souls who dare to dream to develop their own games. Not right now. Okay, finally, a new one showed up. So now I got Emua, which is the Nintendo emulator, but I'm guessing it probably didn't come with any ROMs, so you probably have to go online and get a ROM for it. Alright, so unlimited everything is six bucks. Looks like you can purchase games. Let's see, Karate Battle Kid, Super Rat Puncher. Looks like you can do in-game purchases. Let's see here, Community. Get more games. And then this takes me out to their website, it looks like. Okay, so right now they just got indie games, but I'm guessing you can probably take regular ROMs too and play them. So let's get at, how do I get back to where I was? Here, go back to the main menu. All right, let's play Inversion. It says it's free. Okay, English. Press start. Training Grounds, World Zero. Press start. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Get out. Alright, so without actual uh, NES games, I'm going to call that lame. So the games, they do seem to be taking a while to download. So, unfortunately guys, for this video, because I don't have a whole lot more time, I think we're going to have to end just with seeing that one game on here. But you can see that, oh yeah, it has a very, very simple design on the console here. You've got play to play your games, discover to find and download your games, make to take you to develop for resources to create your own games, then manage for all your stuff like system, network, you can connect on wireless, you can connect on wired, it seems like it's pretty full featured in that respect, but for some reason the video output on it is not the proper sync rate to, to sync up, so I'm guessing it's not perfectly 60 hertz because it's not syncing up with my capture card. And uh, it seems a little bit buggy because I went to the I went to the marketplace, I downloaded a bunch of games and it showed me progress while they were downloading. Then when I left and came back to the menu, I didn't have progress anymore and I don't have any place to go and get progress. And then down here it says I have a system notification, but I click on it and it says, you know, there, there, there's no notifications. But it says I have one notification, so that, that's a bug. And uh, when I went into system settings, I got some glitching on the screen and stuff like that. So it seems to me like they're actually still developing this thing. I would call it beta, um, just from playing around with it a little bit. But, you know, for something that just costs 100 bucks and it's got a controller, I see a lot of potential here. So I'm going to keep playing with it and I'm going to do some more videos in the future. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll pick specific games and do videos on them. But uh, I hope that gives you guys a taste of the Ouya. Um, we unboxed it. We threw it together, downloaded updates, powered on. It didn't give us any significant problems. Um, and uh, that one game is actually quite fun. The, the Dub Wars is actually a lot of fun. If you like Geometry Wars, you'd probably love Dub Wars. Unless you don't like Dubstep, then you're going to hate it. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. Well, guys, there you have it. The Ouya Gaming Console. You can see the thing's absolutely tiny. I got it plugged in with HDMI power and a USB to the keyboard here. You don't have to have a keyboard. Um, and it's connected to my network via wireless. The unit does get pretty hot, though. Be warned on that. And uh, the controller, other than, uh, you know, being a little bit of a puzzle to figure out how to put the batteries in it, um, the controller actually seemed pretty comfortable while I was playing. 
the OS definitely feels kind of beta and it feels like it's lacking a lot of functionality that it should have especially monitoring your downloads and seeing progress and getting alerts and stuff like that I didn't see any of that so if you guys uh, have noticed features that I haven't covered please leave them down in the comments um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing I had a lot of fun honestly today I wasn't even expecting to get this I totally forgot I even bought it so that's a hell of a treat right um, I guess having a bad memory pays off sometimes and uh, I'm sorry that I didn't get you guys some clear 1080p full screen capture footage, but like I said, the Aver Media card just will not pick up the signal from this. So if you successfully captured the Ouya footage uh, with an Aver Media Game Capture HD, please let me know what you had to do to get it working. All right, guys. Well, I hope this gave you an ergasm. Till next time. Oh yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.